Hey friends, good evening, Namaskar. I have a very, very special topic today, but before that, if you have still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to it and press the bell icon so that you can get regular updates whenever I am posting a video. Okay, the topic that I want to talk about today is religion. Does that sound like someone, something that I should not be speaking about? Well, it's not like that. It, the thing is that there's so much of talk about religion all across the globe that I am actually getting tired of this whole topic. Religion this and religion that and one community is hated because they belong to a particular religion and somebody is doing something wrong and then the whole community is blamed for that. I think it's happening everywhere and everyone is hating everyone i mean where do you get the time to hate people that is my question where do you have the time where do you get so much of time to hate people some people will do things inadvertently now there are people who tell me that i belong to a particular religion and people from your religion are doing a lot of notorious things around the globe and so you are evil also now how does that make me evil i have been a good human being and that i think is my biggest religion being a human and loving other humans doing things for them when they need me the most is my biggest religion i really whatever religion i belong to i practice that at home i mean that's that's my private thing that I do. I do not go out on the streets saying, I belong to this religion, so, you know, I hate all other religions. No, I don't do that. That's so boring, that's so last century, and that is so not last century, that is, I think, belongs to the 15th century, somewhere there, and I really don't care what happened in that other century. We are on, in the 21st century, where we are talking about science we are talking about technology we are talking about research we are talking about so many other things besides religion but then there are some people who will constantly talk about religion religion and religion my god where do you get the time to talk about religion there are so many greater things to do but then you make it a point to speak about religion which i think is the most boring topic most boring subject on this earth when we are now talking about starting off to live in a different planet because otherwise our human existence will cease if we do not do that that is what some scientists have already said if we do not go to a different planet this particular earth is going to go boom it's going to finish and then all of you, the guys who keep doing religion this and religion that can go ahead and do your religion here in an, on an earth which will destruct in, in a couple of years. Not in a couple of years, come on, that's going to be some trillion years later. So by the time all of you might have turned to dust or turned to ashes or whatever. So my point is that, you know, recently I had posted something on Twitter and it was about a particular Hindu God that I was I was touching the feet of this Lord and I was saying that we need to love in the name of God and no matter which God it is which religious book it is it will teach you to love I don't know who gets these wild ideas that one particular book teaches hatred the other book teaches love no my dear friends every religious book teaches you to love other human beings what makes you think that some humans are superior some are not and some uh, humans don't need to live in this world they don't deserve this world everybody deserves this beautiful earth everybody deserves to live in this world please my request is whatever religion you follow i'm sure you are following love whatever religion you follow please practice it at home practice whatever you are doing at home please don't take this to politics please don't take it to the rest uh, of, of, of the state or the country or your area or your locality that is very boring oh that is very very boring because when you are talking about religion your mind gets blocked you have nothing else left in here 
but you are talking only on one track. But when you are talking about books, you're talking about art, you're talking about science, you're talking about technology, you're talking about space studies, you are talking about magnanimous things. You are talking things which are going to be left behind for our next generation. If you are going to be a creative person, what do you think? Yeah, if you are a creative person, what do you think is your contribution for the future generation? What are you going to leave behind for the future generation that you can be proud of when at the time of your death, you are going to look back and say, wow, I left this behind for the next generation to take up and I'm so proud of myself. Do you have an idea like that? Do you have a vision like that? Do you have a mission like that? Or are you just going to go and squabble and squirm and rub all that mud on yourself and uh, be a religious bigot? What are you planning to do? Because we are already living in a ready-made world. What have we done that we are going to pr be proud of that we left behind for our future generation. What have we left behind? Anything? A book? Some invention? Some discovery? What? What have you left behind? Think. Think and uh, wonder about it because if you are not going to think about what exactly it is you have done or are willing to do or are going to leave behind for the next generation that they're going to read about you then your life is so so wasted i would like to end this whole video by talking about my mother because my mother always said one thing she said you have not come to this earth to make it heavier it is already very heavy so don't make it heavy by being a useless presence in it make good use of your life make it so beautiful make it so helpful and uh, make it so magnanimous and huge that you will be proud of yourself when at the time of your death when you are sitting in that rocking chair and you look back and you say hey beautiful woman beautiful man you did a lot of good stuff, man. I'm seriously proud of you. Be proud of yourself instead of going all religious bonkers. I don't know where that religious thing uh, has come from. It should be banned. It should be totally banned. I say banned religion because the one thing I'd like to reiterate and repeat and keep saying banned religion. If religion is doing harm to the world, it has absolutely no right to stay on this earth because if it is spoiling the happiness and the peace and the fraternity amongst people then religion should be banned all kinds of religion and the only religion which should exist in this world is humanity love happiness and uh, a lot of care and doing things for the people who needs us most that should be our biggest religion and on that note I'm once again going to say please do subscribe to my channel if you still haven't done it show me some love and of course click on that button on that bell button so that you can be updated whenever I am posting a video I love you all so much let our religion be love let our religion be humanity and let our religion be about peace on that note, I'm going to say bye-bye and I'm going to hug all of you so much. I love all of you so much despite whatever hatred you have towards me. I love all of you so much. I love you. See you soon.